What's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. I'm Dutch and today's video I'm going to do like a little vlog style for you guys. Uh, we're going to be going into town getting some stuff and uh, we're also going to be looking at some pigs and I'll talk to you guys a little bit about why I stopped eating Amish bread. Alright guys, hope you like the little vlog. Some beans and some rice. Hey, how you feel, babe? Yeah. Just got, we just got back from the dentist. Now we brought them girls yeah. to eat. Oh, what, Randy? No, Dr. Pepper. <laughs> no, Dr. Pepper. No almost bread for me. Okay, we're not gonna be on the phone. We're gonna eat it. Good. No, leave that alone. Put it down. Hold it. Alright guys, let's get out of here. Let's get back to the old farm. I gotta fix that pig pen uh, here in a little bit. Do a little little repair to it. Um, so I, I got a call. My, I can get the piglets any day now, so I'll get that fixed today and I'll show it to you guys. Then I'll talk to you guys why I don't eat Amish bread anymore for the time being. Oh, come on now. Alright, we just got home. Let's go out here and work on this old pig pen. It's windy out here, so I'm gonna go in the house and get my mic. You can probably hear it. Alright, I got the stuff to uh, temporarily fix this pig pen. And usually a temporary fix uh, is a fix that will uh, <laughs> that will stay fixed as long as it holds up, you might say. So my temporary fixes usually last a little bit longer than most people, so we'll see how this goes. It is a windy sucker out here today, which is always usually windy here in Oklahoma, but today is just a little bit worse than usual. We had a pretty good rainstorm roll through. Hope you guys can hear me over the wind. I got my mic on there, but still might be loud. But we had much needed, much needed rain come through. I don't know how much I got, but I got quite a bit. And this one has been one of the driest, well, it's windy, one of the driest winters in a long time. So let's check out this pig pen. Okay guys, you can see my temp fix is just gonna put a couple T posts right here on this fence. It should hold up for a long time. Like I've talked about before, I'm going to build a really good pig pen. And so we're just gonna put a band-aid on this, you might say, just long enough where I can get my piglets in here because it's already piglet proof. Trust me, we had some piglets last year. They got out three times and we went back and thought we had it fixed all three times. They still found a way out, but I think we got it down now because after that third time, uh, we did some modifications and they never got out again. But I'll show you guys fixing this real quick. Oh, you guys might notice my YouTube shirt. It says Arms Family Homestead. He sent this to me in the mail. Um, he's like my YouTube stalker, but he's a really great guy. So if you get a chance, go check him out right there on YouTube. I'll put a little link right there for you guys. Appreciate it.
What are you doing? Alright, that's gonna work for now. I got two of them set up. I actually need to put two more T posts. My sheep are coming in now. I need to put another T post on there. If you guys notice, I kind of messed up a little bit. I should have put these T posts on the other side, but the, it'll be fine because I'm gonna go back and put two more. One in the middle, one right there. And, and, and I'm gonna end up putting one right there. So I'll have three more T posts. I'm gonna pull this feeder out of here. I told you it was windy out here, my camera fell down, got all dirty. Alright, got the feeder out. I'm about to clean it out before I put feet in there, obviously. But, but it's so windy right now, I don't want to get up there and get cut or something. That tin come up and get me. So I'm going to wait and fix that where the wind dies down. Hopefully maybe tomorrow or the next day. Um, that's not a number one priority right now because that ain't going to affect the pigs uh, of getting out. And that's my main uh, reason to come down here and fix this was to fix it. So the little piglets can't get out. So we'll fix that later on. Nah. Hey guys, get in here for a second. It's so windy out here. You can see me. Let me get old Daniel's shirt on here so people can see it. Let's see, can you see that? Orange Family Homestead. Hey guys, just want to talk to you real quick um, about what kind of feed I got. And if you guys got any suggestions, I've talked to several people, my Uncle Rico, like I could talk to at Rico's place, and just a bunch of comments you guys are giving me. It's really helped me out a lot by you guys giving me comments and suggestions on these meat birds. Um, but one thing my uncle told me was that he was reading and he talked to and how he did it um, on their feed the first week or two, whatever it was, that he fed them a higher percentage of protein. And so what I bought today, and I'll show it to you here in a minute, is a 22% uh, protein. It's like a quail. I think they said it was like a quail pellet or a quail, or a quail crumble uh, for the baby chicks. And, and I actually talked to the guy there and he said he'd recommend that too. They had a 28%, a 22%, and an 18%. And I said, what if I got some 28 and 18 and mixed it up? He said, yeah, that would work great. Well, then I said, what all you got? And he said, I got this, this, and that. And I said, how about 22? Because if you mix it up, that might be pretty pretty close to what you're going to get. And he said, 22 would be great. He goes, that's what he fed his, like 24% for a while. Uh, so I'm going with 22% protein. You guys leave comments down in the section below. Uh, let me know if that's the right thing to do, if it's the wrong thing to do. I bought the feed. They're going to get it one way or the other. So, But next time I do them, uh, if I need to go higher or lower, let me know. And I'm going to be documenting uh, documenting these meat birds for you guys. And I'm thinking about doing... Uh, doing a time lapse take take a, a little footage of them every single day up to processing that way we can see them grow i think that'd be pretty cool something kicking around i might do let me know if you guys want to see that and uh, if you do um, i might try to do that for you guys and another thing oh before i get to why i quit eating amish bread uh, one other thing if you guys like this vlog style video i, I did uh, let me know i've done them in the past and, and people like them but if this is something you guys like like to see, um, entertain entertains you guys, or or if you guys just uh, if you guys just like seeing them, let me know. Uh, leave down in the comment section below. Yeah, we like seeing these vlogs videos because uh, I know some sometimes it's hard to find things to do on the homestead every single day to film for you guys. And I don't try I don't film every day, but here lately I've been putting out quite a bit. No big deal. I'm I'm used to that. But uh, we do a lot of stuff out away from the from the uh, hobby farm homestead, whatever you want to call it. Um, away from here too that I like to film also so if you guys like seeing these vlog style videos let me know and uh, okay for the, the reason why you guys came on here I know it is <laughs> is because you want to know why I quit eating Amish bread because if you know me I love cooking Amish bread just bread in general um, I love it I put several videos out on cooking Amish bread and just homemade bread in general um, but the reason why I quit is because I had a friend come over and we start talking about diets and all that stuff and he's on that keto diet 
Um, so, and then we already had this keto book uh, for like a couple few months, and we never, me and my wife never really messed with it. Uh, but I've been doing keto kind of uh, for the last 10 days. Um, I haven't eaten any carbohydrates as far as bread, tortillas, anything like that. Um, now, you do get carbs in some of your food that you uh, eat. But I've been eating a lot of eggs and stuff like that and uh, meat and chicken and all that for the last 10 days. And so that's the reason why I quit eating bread. And uh, I don't know how long I'll do it for. I might do it for another 10 days. I might do it for uh, another three months or a year. I don't know. Um, I'm, definitely, uh, I'm definitely to the stage now where I'm not craving it. But I'll do a video on that for you guys. If you guys like to see um, how the first 10 days of the no carb keto diet thing has been going for me uh, let me know also you guys gotta let me know a lot of things down in the comment section i've been asking you guys a lot of questions but if you guys want to see me put a video out on that on my first 10 days and what i've been doing uh let me know i've lost several pounds doing it i'm sure a lot of it's water weight obviously the first uh, week or two uh but um, i'm feeling pretty good right now obviously uh you can tell <laughs> but um uh, that's something you guys are interested in, let me know all right i'll show you this feed then i'm gonna get off here Oh yeah, I got some uh, pig feed too. 50 pounds. Let's see here. Yeah, that's the quail feed. I'll do a better video on the feed and stuff, but that's the, the felt. That's a, a Stillwater milling, and I got some pig feed. That's a Stillwater milling brand. Now these are the Stillwater milling where I get my feed from. That's their brand. Uh, and I put a chart on there throughout the vlog somewhere where you guys can see all the prices. Hopefully you can see them. Um, it cost me like 22 bucks for both bags, so about 10 bags dollars a piece. But uh, this feed was a little bit more than the hog feed. Hog feed is pretty cheap, really. All right, guys. Hope you liked this little vlog style video. If you did, hit that like button for me if you would. Um, if you're not subscribed to my channel, and you just came across across it. It was one of the first videos you've seen. Please hit that subscribe button. I really do appreciate all appreciate all the uh, subscribers I get. I appreciate all your comments and everything, guys. Um, and hit that little bell too. That way you get notifications. I know YouTube uh, has shorted me on other people's notifications where I'm not getting their content. I'm like, man, they haven't posted in a while. So then I'll go to their channel. I thought they posted the last four days. So then I gotta get caught up. So uh, don't forget to click that bell. Hopefully you guys get the notifications. All right, guys, appreciate you watching.